everybody. Well, I want to give you a little glimpse of Songbringer. Um, keep in mind, this is about a third complete. There's so much more music, enemies, items, art. There's so much more to add. Probably at least six months worth of development left here. But I want to give you a little taste of what it's like um, so far. So um, I'm playing here on a with a gamepad. This is like a classic style, Super Nintendo style controller. Um, the game has like two buttons. There's A and B, and there's also the D-pad you use to control, and then you've also got select and start. And those open up your inventory and pause the game. So, um, the concept behind Songbringer is it's a procedurally generated Zelda-like game. So you enter six letters um, to play, and those generate your world. Um, you can choose between regular and permadef mode. I'm going to go with permadef mode today just to keep it nice and real. So basically in permadeath mode, if I die, I'm dead forever. I can't continue that world. So um, I'm going to play with, um, in honor of my favorite author, I'm going to play with the scene, Mervyn. So in honor of Mervyn Peak, an amazing author who wrote Titus Groan, Gormenghast, my favorite author. Thank you, Mervyn Peak, for making such awesome books. So, and keep in mind also, when you're playing um, the game with a certain world seed, if you enter that same world seed on any platform, whether you're playing on PS4, Xbox, Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever, you always get the same world. So, if you want to um, go for a speed run or something like that, enter that same world code, you're always going to have the same world. Um, or if you can enter a different world, world code and get a totally different world every time, too. So, um, the main character here is Rock. He just crashed his speeder bike on this planet. Um, and this, the guy following me here is Jib. He's a little bit red because I'm in permadeath mode and he has a mustache because I drew a mustache for him today in celebration of the project being funded on Kickstarter. Thank you again, awesome people. These birds are random birds that you can find which um, migrate across the map. Um, but here, in a cave, we shall find the Nano Sword. What Rock doesn't know is that picking up this sword triggers the awakening of an ancient evil army, which he must fight. Alright, um, so now we got the sword. We can go and kick some ass. This is one of the boss enemies waking up here. It's just sort of giving the giving you the sense that there is some evil that is awakened. So, I don't know what this world is like. I've never played the world Mervin before. So, oh, look at that. There's a refill. Let's go use the refill. I'm gonna get hurt. And then we'll go and use the refill. Alright, cool. I've lost a little health. Just half a half a tooth. Your health is teeth in this game. Shark's teeth, demon's teeth, whatever you want to call them. Which is meant to represent courage. So Jibba just jacked into this these refill pillars thing, which refills your courage. He's stoked. He's always stoked to do things for you. He scans the bodies of your enemies for items. Um, so I'm just gonna wander around this overworld and see what we can find. Let's see if we can find a store. There's a store buy stuff and that's always a fun thing. Use the um, home screen. You're hearing the newest track I just wrote too. I'll be posting this on SoundCloud. That store at? Looks like the store is probably not going to be on this side of the world here. We'll find it. We'll find it eventually. Hopefully, not die in the process. That's right. Uh. 
Eat it, drops. The store. Where is the store? Maybe it's here. I don't know. I don't know where the store is in this world. Let's see what we got. Maybe it's straight up. Hmm. Well, we'll find a level entrance or something. Here we go. Level entrance. So, you know, these are all going to be different. There's going to be nine levels. Some of the levels are going to be hidden, and there's all going to be there's going to be different art for every one of the levels. And what, as you, I was wandering around the overworld there. Um, you saw some art that looks very Earth-like. Um, there's going to be also some more alien-style planets. Um, and also, there's going to be a lot more art in general. There's going to be um, waterfalls, cliffs, all sorts of interesting things you can find. So these doors here are locked. Ooh, 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 fiver. Bam! Five diamonds! If I save up enough, I could buy a plasma orb or ice orb or something. Something cool. Die, you stinking slimes! You see, Jib goes and scans all. Scans them for stuff. Oh! I just totally lost out on some diamonds. Oh well. So those those are locked. What I'm looking for is the red key. Might be here. Um, obviously as well, as you go through the levels, some levels are going to get harder. Um, right now the game's kind of easy. It's because we're in kind of like a press demo mode. I wanted to make it not too hard um, for people. Not too punishing and brutal. But the game is going to get a little harder, so... Um, like enemies won't drop as many, um, he as much health, things like that. So I do plan for this game to sort of feel a little bit difficult. Like you know how 8-bit games, they were always incredibly difficult. I don't know what it was, but like Skate or Die, one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. I don't want it to be that hard, but Songbringer is definitely going to be a little harder than it is now. Because you get so many items that it's just kind of easy. Um, one of the things I should note too is like the tactile element of it all. So as I'm killing all these enemies and stuff, um, there's a nice screen shake going on and there's a really good feeling of connection as I, as I um, connect the sword with enemies. Um, feels good basically. It's got a good feel. guys are dangerous, but... Oh, what's this? The bio detector. So I can launch this thing. Bio detector, and... It will go flying out and look for the boss in this dungeon. There it is. That little red dot represents the boss. Okay, let's see what we can find. There's gotta be some cool items in this world, I'm sure, somewhere. Ooh, these guys. So what they do is they have this like freezing cloud which you can't use your sword when you're inside the freezing cloud. And they usually sneak up and jab you. But it all depends on the current level you're in. So every every AI in this game actually gets smarter as you increase in level. So they become more difficult to fight. So what you're looking at here is, is the really, really dumb version of these. Um, AI, they're not as difficult. Like the the more difficult guy would be charging me and throwing punches. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the map, the scanner drones. These are a lot like the um, um, the bio detector in the sense that these fly out and they go and scan levels. So let's look at the map and watch what watch what this level is shaped like. Alright, looks like there's a lot more rooms to explore. And 
That one's closed off. What's this other one? How can the boss be down there? Hmm. Alright, we got full health still. Permanent mode is actually doing pretty easy right now. Gotta improve that. Looks like there might have been a bug actually, in the sense that it didn't show um, the right position for the boss. I don't think the boss was in the lower left there. It's probably right up there inside that door. But I don't have any cool items. I'm gonna go explore these other rooms because I know there's an item that I would love to have, and that's the top hat. You can actually throw your top hat like a boomerang, it comes back to you. Oh, these guys are kicking my ass. Just like Zelda, in the sense that sometimes you can get, um, sort of this feeling like you want to, well, because there's hidden items, you want to, you want to explore every room and fight every enemy. When you're in permadeath mode, that could be a bad thing, though, so, as you sometimes fighting enemies, it's the temptation it takes to get you to die. So, sometimes I'm skipping these rooms and not fighting everybody. Ooh, bomb container! Bang! We got bombs. Let's place a bomb and see if we can break through this wall or something. Wait, let's look at the map to see if that might actually be... Actually, yeah, we might find a bomb. A secret entrance right here. Nope, no secret there. How about over here? Oh, no secrets in this room? What? Oh, that's another thing too that's gonna be added to the game is this is these cactuses. So you're gonna be able to eat cactuses. I'm gonna give you psychedelic powers that you can see secrets. So you'll be able to actually um, see cracks in the walls and reveal where secrets will be that you can bomb. But that's only if you have a cactus to use. And the cactuses are gonna be kind of rare and or you buy them at the shop for a kind of expensive price. Let's see if there's a hidden chest here. Nope, no hidden chest in this room. But we still got full health, that's good. Haven't died yet, permadeath mode. The stakes are high. So there's got to be an item, yo. I'm looking for this. It's got to be. Oops. This went downstairs. Oops. Back up, Jib. Come on, Jib. Let's go. Let's find the top hat. It's got to be around here. That bitch is right in this room right here. Oh. Looks like it. Yeah! The top hat! Alright, let's get this thing throw it at stuff. Like for example, that diamond. And that's bomb. Sweet. Now we can fight the, the boss in style. Looks like we got... Just go straight to the right, and then up. Fight this boss. Oops. Shall not give in to the temptation to fight all of you. Oh! That was close. Let's see if we can find a little health, though. Here we go, good. Bag of full health. Ready for this boss battle? Did I, what wrong turn did I take? What? Oh. I'm supposed to go one more to the right. Oh. See that dodge? Um, one more down. Nope, straight to the right. Here we go! Boss battle! You guys ready? You ready for this? Death mode. If I die, I'm dead. 
Yeah, oh, got him. Nice. Cool. And you guys can't see it, but he died right in front of this awesome fire orb item. Bang! Fire orb's pretty cool, too. This is a teleport item, so um, you teleport. You turn into fire along the way. And keep in mind, um, this is also going to be, there's going to be crafting in this game, so the fire orb is eventually going to be a combination of a teleport orb and fire in a bottle. You go to the droid smith on the overworld and you give him those two items and he makes you a fire teleport orb. So right now, um, for this demo only, I've basically just given you the fire orb because there isn't, I haven't fully developed the, the droid smith yet. So that's it for this level. We got a demon's tooth. This increases courage by one whole. Your hit points, for example, by one whole tooth. So that's basically it for the demo. Um, yeah, so I had fun there. It looks like I I didn't die, but um, I'll die anyways to give you guys the satisfaction of seeing permadeath mode death. That's right. Oh, oh, you know what? It's it'd be more embarrassing if I die to a slime. This happened the other day. <laughs> permanent mode. Oh, permanent fear. Can't continue. Sucks to be me. So that's it. Um, that's it for the playthrough. Thank you guys for watching and lots more art, lots more enemies, lots more to come. So hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you guys later.